Javon Kinlaw had ACL reconstruction, which surprised me. I mean, he had knee tendonitis or arthritis or something, and now he had a full ACL reconstruction. So I want your analysis, but real quick, let me just read the joint statement from uh, Dr. Tim McAdams and Dr. Neil Atrashi and the 49ers medical staff. I didn't pronounce that correctly. I'm sorry. 49ers defensive tackle Javon Kinlaw recently underwent successful surgery to repair his right knee. As persistent symptoms limited Javon's performance, we consulted with medical experts and determined that the best course of action was to perform surgery. Evaluation of the knee and surgery confirmed suspicions that the ACL had chronic changes that would be best treated with ACL reconstruction. This procedure gives him the best opportunity to make a full recovery and return to playing football in 2022. What do you think? I think it's a good statement. And actually, it does not surprise me at all because the underlying issue of what they call knee tendonitis, when I heard that to begin with, to me, it sounded so, it did not sound specific enough. To me, there was something else that was that was chronic. And now they are disclosing to us what exactly that was. So I think this was absolutely the the necessary decision for his health and for his career. If they just keep playing him on a broken piece, basically his knee, eventually he would literally end up as a full-on draft bust. It would just it would just ruin his his career, ruin his confidence. So if we ha have any hope of salvaging him for his career here in San Francisco, then they had to shut him down and they need to do, discover what was wrong with him. They did that. And to have a reconstructive surgery was the only option. And hopefully it goes really well. And more importantly, he takes his recovery very seriously. And then, then they can salvage the situation, hopefully. It seems like um, it seems like the question now is when did this injury stem happen? Is Was this from before the draft or was this they, – they keep mentioning that he was – he injured himself in the Dallas game, his rookie year toward the end. And that it was like a, a different injury to the same knee that was, in, that was hurt to begin with. Is that what this is? Um, Cause I'm curious, like, is this something that they should have known before they drafted him? Or is this something new? I guess we can ask, I can ask that question and find out. Um, one more That's thing a good though. Question. Here's yeah. The I thing. mean, I, I'd like to know. They if are, in, they are interlocked. Both, years, both conditions. <laughs> Yeah, both, right. both issues are, are are interchangeable. They're interlocked. You, when whenever you build muscle, you strengthen your 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 joints, things like that. If you are weak in one area, you do not strengthen the other without engaging with that area. So even if they were separate issues, they absolutely do con contribute to each other. It's like playing on a weak weak gear. Essentially, it's eventually going to snap. So even right. if you even if you break an something else or you rupture something else or you have another fissure or something like that. If you were dealing with an issue before, then it's absolutely going to exacerbate the issue. So the question, should they have known about this before the draft? Absolutely. So even if his pre-draft knee issue, this, this, this chronic tendonitis that they keep talking about, is separate from his ACL reconstruction, which I do not think it is at all, it guaranteed, I guarantee that it contributed to his condition. He has, okay. to, to put it in layman's terms, he had a bum knee. So are we surprised that he continually injures even if the injuries are different that's true we're not we should not be surprised absolutely not yesterday when i put out the tweet that kinlaw had acl reconstruction dr narav pandya who's been on the show and is a really uh good doctor and Very. he's all over the bay area giving his uh analysis of athletes injuries he's he's the he's the go-to guy he wrote on twitter many times an acl can appear intact quote unquote on an mri uh, but when the ACL is examined dynamically during surgically during surgery, sorry, chronic changes in the ligament, making it unable to perform its function can be seen. In these cases, cumulative damage to the ligament is treated by reconstruction. So I don't know if that sheds any more light on it, but yeah, absolutely. Well, we basically, basically he's 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 saying that it's wear and tear over time. So absolutely, that's really well said on his part. Jason Aponte put out some really nice pictures on Twitter yesterday, and I took credit for one of them. I just said it was me because it looked so good. I think a, a fair amount of people believed it. And then last night I went out in a, in this this sweater and like a black trench coat to try to look like him because I was so yes. inspired. I even wore uh, black I suede too. shoes. I was really trying my best to look like Jason. Well, one Jason person came up to me and was like, oh, my God, are you Jason Aponte? I know you from the Grand. That didn't happen. but Him and Shardar, they are the best dressed. They are. Jason yes. always has – he's always fitted very much so. Thanks for watching, Jason. Thank you for the $5. Yeah, hey, Jason. <laughs> All right.